Everyone, everyone said, everyone that I have heard, and everyone talks about, like, oh yeah, Australia, it's fucking the most deadly place, you get killed by this, killed by that. It's like, no you fucking don't. If you're an idiot, yeah, you'll get killed. By, like, <laughs> fucking, like, animals and shit. Like, it's right. not that bad. Just have a conscious. You, you're, you have, like, better odds of getting killed in the USA, honestly. Yeah, well, downtown Chicago. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, unless I'm easily. dude with a gun. We don't have gun violence yeah. over here. The only violence we have is violence against animals. That's crazy. It's a whole different world, man. Well, at the moment, it's more like with everything that's going on, that lockdowns and shit. You guys still on lockdown? How are you guys doing over there with COVID? Oh, we're planning an assassination on our um, <laughs> deputy, uh, our, our um, what's it called? Uh, our minister of this, this state. Really? So, no, but it's been. I'm surprised this cunt's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you guys I been in lockdown him. for? On and off, I'd say probably about at least nearly a year. Damn. Oh, no, probably not that bad. Probably about six months or so. Holy shit. Oh, it's fucked. I'll be back. Oh. I'm going to go shoot this gun. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> at everything, Alex. Shoot it at everything. Let me hit up Mandel. Me. Hold on. Oh, I tell oh, you like that asteroid? Um, by the 30th anniversary <laughs> edition, and uh, you can go play, play for this. 78 hours. Fuck me, Bungie, you're money hungry. I remember back in the day, like you'd buy the game, and the DLCs would be like fucking 12 bucks for like Halo and shit. Now it's like pay 50 dollars and get. But see, here's the thing, though. Here, let me, let me. Uh, you're correct, but at the same time, take this in consideration. Sony just bought Bungie and is about to throw 3.2 billion dollars towards Bungie. They're not going to have to beg their players, and they have tons of money to develop. And oh yeah, that's that what shit. businesses do. Be satisfied with the amount of money they have. Yeah, you're right. Only you're not going to dump that in and that. Like, prove your like you. With that amount of money, you're not gonna make improvements. Come on, I you yeah, better. But, so here, here's the thing, Meta. That the reason this gun's so good right now is because there's a there's a mod you can get called uh, particle deconstruction. If you run your look at your artifact. Do you have the artifact unlocked? Uh, no, not for he'd have season. to he'd have to get the season. Okay, yeah, so yeah. dealing damage with a fusion or, or linear fusion grants bonus damage with a fusion or linear fusion. It's like a debuff. So, so just running Vex just melts everything. Oh yeah. So it pretty much turns it into nearly like year one D. Yes, yeah, so you remember D you remember D one Vex Mythic class before they fucking nerfed it? That. Yeah. Yes. I fucking oh. loved it. I, yes, I, I that's what so it is. Lucky. I got so lucky I played the first fucking VOG. It took us four hours to do because we were like all under light level we did it i was the only one that got vexed i got kicked from my raid and my guild <laughs> because they hated me and i wasn't pulling my weight anyway i was like fuck you cunts then i'll go find another group to go play with i ended up going pvp and just absolutely demolishing cunts with with that thing it was that's amazing it, it was that's amazing great. that's what Mental that should be coming that with Gross. so basically this season with that debuff <laughs> and the seasonal <laughs> artifact so that's what happened okay so good so good i'm gonna have a cigarette because my nicotine addiction is talking to me so I'll, i will be right back bro uh, i wish i could bomb one from you right yeah let me just fucking send it over and <laughs> send it over <laughs> send it over bro it'll be here in like <laughs> 10 days I mean, this would probably still be good. I'll just put it in an envelope mailed to, uh, but dear Domo, enjoy my nicotine. Dude, I will give you my address, and if you mail me that cigarette, I will smoke it. 100%. From Australia? <laughs> yes. Dude, are you serious? Think, if some I dude that I met online it. mailed me a fucking cigarette from Australia, and that came to me in the mail, I would smoke that cigarette. That would be amazing. I don't think it would get through customs. Really? A fucking cigarette? Do people in yeah. America send weed no, through fucking a, the postal mail? Oh, I've definitely not done over that. here. Like, oh yeah, anything that's organic, like foods and shit like that that gets really exported out, has a very high chance of it getting destroyed. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, in America, you can yeah. fucking mail fucking drugs in on like literally yeah, our yeah, government this, postal fucking... system. Airsoft is illegal in Australia, but yet I can go to an American website and buy an airsoft pistol and get it mailed here. Yeah, they'll mail it to you. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 
That's it great. was fucking great. Like, and so that was literally the test for me. I'm like, I really want an airsoft M4. So I bought a pistol. It was a six hour P226, a metallic, uh, a full metal jacket. Like, like everything on it was full metal, except except for the uh, the pistol grip. Okay. Um, so everything was metal on it. And uh, come through like in a month later, it, it came. I'm like, fuck, what is this? I don't remember or nothing. And then I remembered it was my pistol. So I'm like, fuck yeah. I had 2,000 BBs with it. <laughs> and that was awesome. So then I decided to try buying an M4 for uh, 200 bucks. And it never came. I was oh, seized in customs. <laughs> yeah, it would have got seized. 100%. Go have your cigarette, man. Enjoy it. Yeah, I'll be right back. You're good. <laughs> you know. Hey, boys, you want to hear a good joke? I Something that'll make you fucking the laugh. Screw in the tuna. <laughs> <laughs> What's your oh joke, my here? God. <laughs> joke? Yes. Like, yeah. You guys have a bit of a dark humor, I hope, because be prepared. Oh, yeah. uh, so, a priest was uh, driving down the road, <sighs> wind windy road one day, and he comes around the bend and sees a, uh, a young child standing on the side of the road <laughs> next, next to a cliff. And so he pulls over and asks the kid, what's, what's the matter? What, what are you standing here for? And the kids re replied and said, um, my parents, they, their car fell off the edge of the cliff here and they haven't come back. So the priest walks over to the edge and has a look, looks over and thinks to himself, yep, there's the mangled up car. Fuck, oh, damn. So he walks back to the kid and um, starts unzipping his zipper and, and uh, the, or his fly. And the kid goes, well, what, are you, what are you doing? The priest responds, it's just not your fucking day, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> wow, that's great. Oh, that's fantastic. Good god. What's yeah, up, Mandel? We got a wipe anyway. Here's a good, here's a, here's a good pick up line for you if you, if you want to get a good uh, Roses are red. COVID makes you sick. It'll make you feel better if you sit on my dick. <laughs> oh, nice! Okay, okay, okay. Dude, honestly, Wait. just DM me the clips that you want. I will add them to my sound. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we start, I'll send you one. I'm not going to no, add it right get... now. It, what should it, I no, no, should no, get I know, the but like, clip later. of uh, out yeah. of Tropic Thunder with, uh, I think it's Tom <laughs> Hanks or whatever. He's like talking on the radio. He's like, just take one step back and literally, and literally fuck your own face. face. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Cruise. Again. We wore a pearl necklace. What? 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 Chill. Maybe did you get it? Nah. Yeah. Do, you, do you have one more character or no? Nah, I've only got a hunter and warlock. Uh huh. Well, I, hey, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be able to do it anyway. I've got to go anyway. Well, yeah, it was good running with you, my man. Yep, thanks for joining oh, me. Yeah, yeah, thanks for coming. No worries, boys. It's always Thank nice you. to meet a, an too, Aussie man. out here in the wild. Enjoy that yeah, band. Well, here's a here's a good saying for you. You know, when you when you're saying goodbye to your mate or you know your homie, as you guys like to say in America. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just just say to him, All right, take it easy, mate. And if it's easy, take it home. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Love it. <laughs>